Share a bed or a room with a COVID patient, travelled via metro, a bus or a train full of people and never really took COVID precautions seriously. If you did any of these and yet remained untouched by COVID, congratulations, then you just might be a super dodger. One common finding that's come in from a lot of studies is that super dodgers might actually have a genetic advantage over others. They might have some specific mutations in their genes which makes them impervious to COVID infections or it could be just plain luck. Either way, they're highly valuable for obvious reasons to scientists. Scientists all over the world are looking for answers on why some people never got infected by COVID despite it spreading so rapidly and they're looking for volunteers to get the answers. Jean-Laurent Casanova, a professor at the Rockefeller University of New York, is in fact searching for participants right now for Super Dodgers. So the participants essentially will first have to fill a questionnaire about their exposure to the coronavirus. If they then meet the criteria, a testing kit is sent across to them. After receiving this kit, the participants who've been chosen, the Super Dodgers, will basically have to send their saliva to Casanova and his team. They will then extract the DNA and sequence the genome of these samples. With that, hoping to get some answers about whether really they have a genetic advantage. They are hoping to find some genetic mutations in at least 50% of the Super Dodger samples. And if they do, it obviously would lead to a huge breakthrough really as far as the fight against COVID is concerned. But let me also tell you that this isn't the first time this whole term of Super Dodger has come to light or been used. Let's rewind back to 1996. American scientist Lando and his team set up an experiment to find out how HIV actually enters cells. And what they came across, as far as HIV is concerned, was very different from what they actually expected. Now, the virus needed a specific molecule called CCR5 on the surface of the cell to open the door quite literally and let the virus in. So, no CCR5 no entry to the virus. Now, in the case of COVID, in the case of coronavirus, an equivalent to the CCR5 molecule is the ACE2 molecule. But the twist here is that people can't live without this molecule. They need the ACE2 molecule. So it's only a part of this molecule, mutation of a part of this molecule that could perhaps give us answers. And while all of this is right now speculation, it's very clear that for us to get some answers, there's a lot more science, there's a lot more research that needs to be done. We have a long, long way to go to get any answers. Till then, let us know if you are a super dodger or anyone you know dodged COVID. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today News Mo.